Okay, uh, this is my first time doing this with the website, and my third time trying this overall, because the program I had on my computer just, uh, cut off the video after about 23 seconds, and I had only the audio left, and it's kind of weird, and it's not an attractive face I was making when the video stopped, so <laughs> we're going to try this one more time. Okay, so I'm Katie. And uh, this is my first attempt at a web blog, blog and um, I'm hoping that it will like supplement my actual blogging because as those of you who've been reading know, I have a little bit of trouble, you know, doing that regularly. Um, so I'm going to try doing this and we'll see how that goes. Um, so far, you know, um, Japan's been great, um, so since this is going on YouTube, I thought I'd say, for the people who aren't my friends and family, uh, a little bit about myself, um, so I'm Katie, and, um, I live in Japan, um, I am an English teacher, and I'm a... I'm a JET program ALT. I'm sorry, I'm just losing my train of thought here. Um, so this is my first year. Um, I'm a recent graduate. I have a degree in Global Studies. Um, and I studied abroad in Osaka for a year in 2008 and 2009. And um, I really, as you know, may become evidence as I do these. I really have a bias towards Kansai. Uh, I freaking love it. <laughs> uh, it was my original hope to come there, go there on the JET program, but you know, you apply to this program and you know that you gotta take whatever they give you because that's how it works. And so <clears throat> I am here now in what I would like to refer to as the Super Inaka. Um, but not to be confused with the Super Mega Inaka, which my friend Jeff lives in. Um, and he lives on an island. A very small island. So, definitely more rural than where I am. But where I am is pretty rural, um, but I'm not going to go into details about where I live and what schools I te teach at, because I'm trying to, like, respect people's privacies and um, I know that there is some sensitivity about JETS posting information on the internet about their students and their schools. So I'll refer to the schools and my students the same way I do on my blog, which is by nicknames. Um, for instance, I teach at three schools and I teach at, oh my god, it's huge, Chu, uh, Rowdy Hill Chu, and Teeny Tiny Chu. And as to people, for instance, my supervisor is Kaysam. So I'll talk about people like that and the schools. And I'll try to talk mostly in generalities about schools. Um, because I don't want anyone to be, you know, offended by what I say. Um, so, uh, I've been here for coming up on seven months now. And, um, you know, I teach English and I, you know, well, teach being the operative word there. I'm an assistant, so, you know, it, my successes in the classroom are, are, it's a, it's a mixed bag. Um, but, you know, here in, here in, uh, Shimane Prefecture, we are pretty relaxed. I have a pretty good situation as far as that goes. All my JTs speak good, good English. And, um, sorry, I keep jerking the camera around. Um, so that's, that's good. So, um, those of you who know me, all of that has just been a giant repeat of what you already know. You know, I, but, that's, you know, I thought it'd be a good way to start this whole vlogging thing out. Um, so, it's January, um, I'm almost here for Christmas and New Year's. Uh, we had a good time traveling, you know, Tokyo Disney, here, she came to my schools, Osaka, my favorite place, um, and lots of other things. We had a good time. I took her to a couple of Johnny's concerts, because um, I'm a 
fan, and I thought that she might like to see what I do with my time and my money, and, you know, in the past, her money. <laughs> so, yeah, well, that was that was pretty fun. Uh, and now I'm just back to the daily grind at school. Uh, it's hard to go back after having a break. It's the same as, you know, when you're a student. It's just, it's like, oh, do I really have to go back to school now? I just, I want to keep having a break. You know, and I never thought I'd, I'd miss being a student, but I kind of do. Um, sometimes. But, anyway, so, you know, I've been back at school for, I guess, about two weeks now. This is my third week. Um, and, you know, all the third years are testing to go to high school, so it's kind of erratic schedules. Um, finishing up the textbook, and that's always a lot of pressure to get that done in time. But, uh, so this weekend I had a, uh, ski trip with the Gen Association, but before I went on that ski trip I got an email, uh, text message from my supervisor, Kaysan, and she said that the, I needed to go to Kaska Jijosha. And the reason for this is because they wanted me to do them a favor, they wanted me to switch cars. And the Jidosha is who I rent my car from here in Japan. So, um, I was just like, well, why? And she didn't know the reason. So today, uh, after work, um, I went with her to the place and I found out the reason why. It's because apparently someone who just moved here just has to have a Toyota Plaid, so they want to buy the car. And since I'm only leasing, you know, they, they would prefer to sell the car. So, um, they wanted me to switch. And at first they were, like, offering me this, uh, Nissan March? It's a hatchback. And I really hate hatchbacks. Um, I just, I don't like them. And there's, there's not a lot of trunk space. And also, they're just, they're small. And this was smaller than the car that I had. And I just, I feel like I'm less secure in those cars. And so I said, and since they just want to sell my car, I felt like I had room to negotiate because, you know, they're putting me out, basically, by doing that. And, um, so I said, you know, I really don't like this, I mean, do you have anything else? And at first they was kind of hemming and hawing, like, oh, well, we have one, but it's not automatic. And I was like, well, that's impossible, I can't drive stick. Um, but finally he brought around this other car, uh, it's a Nissan Sephiro, uh, which kind of makes me giggle because being an anime fan, that reference is kind of funny. Um, but it's a, you know, it's a full-size sedan, so it's about the same size as my uh, Honda is at home. And um, so it's a size I'm used to. I feel good about that size car, and it's a little bit older. It's, it's 1998, but honestly, I just don't think I'm going to get a car as new as the one I was driving. I mean, I was pretty lucky. And uh, I guess I'm now paying the price for that. But, um... You know, it's got a new CD player in it, and uh, it seems to drive okay. So I, I think I'm going to take it. You know, if they can de-stank it, because someone was clearly smoking in it. Um, and uh, they'll bring it to me on Wednesday. And I suppose, because they've, you know, I've pretty much been forced to switch, um, if I were to decide later that I lose the car, okay, maybe they'll, you know, help me hook, hook me up with something better. Sorry, that's Skype. Um, but anyway, so that's that was my adventure today, and uh, I'm just trying to get all that done. And um, you know, in February I'll start paying for the, uh, the satellite TV, which I really enjoy. And and I, you know, I took a slight increase on my um, insurance because it's a bigger car. It's also a safer car, so I'm like, eh. but. Um, they, they reduced my lease amount, monthly amount, by about 2,000 yen. So, um, that's nice because the increase in insurance was less than that. So ultimately I'm saving money. Um, and that'll be good once my satellite TV payment kicks in. Um, but, also because I'm thinking about upgrading to an iPhone. Um, I feel like I get more of my money that way. I just don't know. I also just don't know if I should wait till the summer when inevitably there will be a new iPhone, maybe the 4G iPhone. But 
I kind of want it now because I really miss having one. Like, I think it's really hard to go back from a smartphone once you've had one. Like, having the, the old style keyboard keyboard now is just a pain. And even though there are some really cool things about Jap my Japanese phone, it's right, right here. You know, it's blue. I like that. It's cute. Um, it shows the time. Uh, I don't know if you can see. Right there on the... Uh, maybe not when it's open. Right there on the front. It shows different time here, time in America. So, I mean, there's some cool things about it. But... Just... I feel like there's more value with the iPhone for almost the same amount of money. So that's what I'm thinking about. But anyway, this is getting long, so I'm gonna stop, and uh, maybe I'll, you know, you'll see some more of these, and I'll cross post them to my blog, my blog, my blog, and um, you know, maybe I'll try to do a mixture of both in the future. Um, anyway, uh, so thank you, YouTube and my family, and I will see you guys later. Bye.